gentlemen, thank you so much for this opportunity. And we hope that a visit to our site might be the next logical step. Gentlemen, I would like to remind you that I am the COO of this company and the ranking executive in this meeting. If there's a next step, I would appreciate it if you would address your proposals to me as well as to my colleagues. Cream or sugar? Taxi! Hi. Okay. So where's the fire? You proposed to me this morning on the way to work. Great. So I'm officially the old maid. Oh, will you cut that out? <laughs> okay. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. There is a, however, outrageous prenup demand. Would you stop? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trust issues with men right now. Get this. They're facing us off against each other for publisher. Sudden death. One moves up and the other moves out. The gun's gone off and the finish line is this Friday. <sighs> so I go for it, right? What's the prize, the job or the man? Well, both. Well, if she has to choose. Shh, it's 2007. She doesn't have to choose. She I brings I know it. what year it is. I also know it would be a hell of a way to start off an engagement. He asked her to marry him. He's got to know what he's getting into. Well, he knows because we talked about it afterwards, and he asked Hello, me Hello, ladies. Silla. Hi, Silla. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have a tiny little favor to ask. Caitlin, you're in the Arbor Gast, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I have an accepted bid for the penthouse. Could you possibly put in a word with the board for me? Well, I'm, I'm on the board, so I'll see if I can move them along at least. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Great to see all of you. Hi. Bye. Now there's a woman who knows how to divorce. Yeah, at first there was an actor, and then Ron Buckler. Well, I hear she really backed up the truck. <laughs> now, before you and Jack put the gloves on, we need a celebration. I'm thinking a little engagement party. Nothing stressful, just nearest and dearest. An engagement Yay. party? <laughs> now let me see this rock. Nice get on that fashion out of the Hey, hey, hey. Good to see you. Good to see you. Spit it out. We only threw it together this morning. Juliet, Zoe, will you please join me? Where's Mia? Where's Mia? Okay. When we were in business school together, we'd talk about what kind of guy we thought we'd end up with. And Mia would always describe her perfect man. He had to be smart, funny, uh, generous, driven. Basically Mia, with a penis. <laughs> and then in walk, Jack. And after 15 fantastic years with Davis, here's what I know. No matter where life takes you, if you're together, you're home. Oh. Oh, one last little thing. Be good to her. Because if you break her heart, we'll break every last bone in your body. <laughs> Cheers. Drink up. <laughs> Teleconference with Tokyo. I love you. Oh. My nanny quit. Oh, no. A whole thing. I have to have sex with Davis. Oh. He's going on a business trip tomorrow. It's superstitious. Good luck being with us. Oh, kind of like a little bone voyage. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and ladies, I know you all bought tables, but I'd appreciate it if you came to the benefit Thursday. Thursday has a recital, but I'm going to peek in. I'm there. <sighs> Try. Think of this for the benefit Thursday. Perfect. <laughs> Davis, close your eyes and describe the dress. Black, beaded around the uh, cleavage or whatever you call it. Probably cost more than my new car. Can I open them now? Yes. If you're gonna rekindle the flames or whatever, you could at least lock the door. I'm off. Ew. I'm gonna have a nightmare. I'll get you a table for stay and seats at the Soho House Poker Game. <laughs> It'll be putty in your hands. That's what I'm here for. Go get them, Tiger. Davis, it's me. The company jet's dead heading down to Miami, and seeing as we never got to it last night, I thought maybe I'd do something totally uncharacteristic and have them drop me in Hilton Head and meet you for dinner and some hotel sex. And I'd fly back up with you tomorrow. This offer good until 6 o'clock. Call me. Big kiss. OK, who died? What? Nobody. I love <laughs> that dress. It's so nice. Coffee? Tea? Or should I open a bottle of wine? Wine sounds good. Wine it is, just as soon as you tell me what the hell is going on. Uh, 
uh, oh, there's really no easy way to say this. I, uh, I saw Davis coming out of the Ganser Vort with uh, Scylla Gray, and he was uh, kissing her. And it wasn't just a, hey, really nice to see you kind of a kiss. It was very much, uh, it was a kiss. And when was this? Tuesday afternoon. And you're positive it was Davis? Yes. Well, thank you for that. I know it couldn't have been easy. I'll go get us that wine. That went well. Mia, would you grab some glasses? Juliet? Say something. What's there to say? My husband steps out on me. You knew? About Scylla Gray? No. That's kind of a nasty wrinkle. It's always been an out of town sort of thing. Would you mind? How can you stay with him? Do not judge me. When you've been with someone, anyone, a man, a woman, a pet for 15 years, then we will talk. You do not get to judge me. I'm not excusing him, but look at what, what a man gives up to be with one of us. We make more money, we rise higher, we take up more space. We are as far from the idea of a wife he grew up with as it's possible to be and still wear his ring and go by his last name. Don't get me wrong, I hate it. But I hate the alternative more. I don't want to be a single mother. A blind date, third wheel. I love having someone to come home to, to go to parties and do the postmortems with, to plan holidays for. So, there it is. The secret to my happy marriage. But kids, don't try this at home. We love you. I know you do. I'm sorry, Fade, you didn't. Now, about that dress. <laughs> you don't like it. I do. But given the circumstances, maybe something a little more... brave. Zoe, Mia, Caitlin, great to see you. Davis, hello. Hi, Em. How long is this thing? Not long. Oh. The woman we honor tonight can truly be called a force of nature. She's as warm as a June afternoon, as inspiring as a mountain view, and as anyone who has tried to say no to her can attest, she can be as fierce and unrelenting as a hurricane. Listen to these numbers. I know Six about Scylla Gray. I am so sorry. Someone we know, where we live. It's over as of right now. It sure as hell better be. <laughs> what can I do? Just tell me what to do. You know what you can do, Davis? Take a good look around at all our friends. Go on. Okay. 
Now, you won't know when, and you won't know who, but I'm going to take one of them as my lover, and I'm going to do things with him that would curl your toes. And then I'm going to end it, and you and I can start over with a clean slate. Ladies and gentlemen, Juliet Draper. <laughs> Um, you're not going to believe who I kissed the other night. Nia got the job and Jack called it off. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. And screw him. Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you even took the ring back? No, I put it in my desk. I... Am I allowed to say congratulations? You won. Well, I got the job. Whether I won or not, I'm not so sure. That whole having it all thing, I think it's a crock. Oh, heads up. You know how it is, Sylvia. I mean, the board doesn't have to give a reason for turning it down. It's... Well, next time, could we find something that I can fall in love with and actually buy? Of course. Two for my table? I'm sorry, Ms. Gray. I've got nothing down for you. <laughs> but on that table right over... Mere Mafia. That's what they call you, you know. Really? You don't want to know what I know about you. And you don't want to know what I know about you. Careful there. See you around the campus, girls. Oh, my God. Can we just change the subject all the way around? Oh, my God, who did you kiss? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, I, I, later, I promise. What did you say to Davis last night? He looked like he swallowed an eel. I told him that I would be taking a lover. Ooh, wow. Do you think you could really go through with that? Most of me hopes I can. Part of me hopes I can't. I do love Davis, you know. Champagne, ladies? Ah, <sighs> perfect. Oh, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To friends in high places. I don't know what I would do without you girls. I really don't. Cheers. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's review your options. He's got to be single. <laughs> Over 5'9 and under 2'10. Hair? You want hair? All hair is good. <laughs> and hot. It's definitely hot. You know what? I'm almost afraid to say this. This is going to be fun. Thank you. <laughs> 